audio. We'll go ahead and turn off the music. Quickly. And go to video four. And there we are. And let's see if we have anybody here yet. Where's my guys? There's nobody here yet. There's no participants. Nobody's in. Only you. So here we go. Let me go ahead and now. Uh, let me be the first one to come in here and ask you a question, my friend. Since nobody is here, I'll be the one. Let's go on in. We have Maggie Do. Maggie Do. We have Maggie Do, Vernon. We have Maggie Do. Let's go ahead and bring her in. Let's bring in Maggie Do. Hello, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. This is Vernon. Glad to see you. Oh, uh, we're going to have to uh, mute, uh, mute her to let her in. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Hi, Vernon. How in the world are you? I'm great. Well, we're starting a whole new thing here. I uh, every that. week we're going to take a, one painting and describe it and see how it began and uh, give people some information on what's going on. Well, I recognize that one since I have a copy on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the first one. I'm going to go in depth on it and tell uh -huh. people how it started and all that stuff. Good. So you got a birthday coming up. Yes, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I turn 96. 96. Yep. Well, so you're looking, a good ride. looking good for 96. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're live on Facebook. Uh, Art is on the line too. He's on the, he's on the side there. Who? He didn't come in with a video. No, Art, Art did he? I think oh, he yeah. Oh, no, he did come in with video on this. Well, it's nice to be able to see you. Yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to see people on the other side. I'm over here hiding on the side. I'm, I'm the controller guy. <laughs> uh oh, he's so, the technician. Yeah, we're trying to figure out how it all works. I don't know what's going on except I have to talk. <laughs> You've never had a problem with that, have you? Huh? You've never had a problem talking, have you? Have you had a problem talking in the past? Uh, oh, yes, I, I'm a pretty shy person, really, except <laughs> around friends. Yeah. How's your sister doing? Uh, she's out of, Helen is out of the hospital. Good. And back home and recuperating quite well. And Dorothy's still in the nursing home. Yeah. But she's doing okay. She's right and, Virginia. Uh -huh. and Virginia. Oh, she's just the same. She's, she's our family historian and steady as a rock. <laughs> so are more people coming on? You gonna tell us about the painting? Yes, I am. I guess now is as good a time as any, huh? Today, right now is a good time. Do you have any questions about it? Well, I know. That, save your question until I tell you all about it, and then you'll probably have some questions. Uh, this painting started with me sitting home, having a cup of tea, and all of a sudden, this appeared as a vision. And uh, I don't know exactly how it happened, but suddenly I was with this with a whole wall full of hands and they were moving a little bit. And then this hand, that's light, moved in. And I think it only lasted a few seconds, but it seemed like it lasted an eternity. Hmm. And uh, when it was over, I had goosebumps from my toes to into my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so I called a professional friend of mine who was a photographer. And he came over the next day and I got some friends together and we posed for hands. Wow. But 
none of them really kind of worked except this one up here at the top. And I used it as a starting point. But I was so afraid of it. I didn't think I could do anything with it. You know, my talents weren't good enough. So it was about 10 or 12 years before I had the nerve to do it. And finally I said, I just have to do it. Because every painting I did, this one haunted me. And so yeah. I moved the furniture out into the hallway and made a frame and laid it on the canvas and stretched it. And then leaned it up against the wall. Then I had some engineering paper and I made covered it with paper first. Then I did a, scar, a charcoal sketch of it. And I thought it would be terribly complicated, but it was just like any other painting. And it went along just fine. And then I made a, another paper tracing with just lines so I could trace it onto the canvas. And then when I painted it, it took a long time to paint. <laughs> uh, yeah. I spent about 3,000 hours on it, which is about uh, a year and a half of 40 hour weeks. Wow. But there's a lot of fingers, a lot of fingernails. And as you can see, everything is about life size. I had no idea. Well, at any rate, this painting has become, I guess, my prize painting, my uh, my super duper one. This is the most popular painting that I've ever done. I've done about 500 paintings, but 400 of them or more are in private collections. So I kept 100 of them. So we're going to be on the air for 100, day, 100 weeks <laughs> that we get rid of all of them. Okay, I don't need that close-up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get used to it. Let's see, who else wants to You're a beautiful that? person. You don't need to hide. Let's try to well, I've, I've had uh, 60 days of isolation with no haircut. <laughs> oh, really? Arnold's here. Arnold's here. Solbay's here. Arnold's here. Why were you in isolation? Uh, the virus. Oh, yeah. oh really? Well, I, well, I have um, heart and lung disease, so I have to isolate. Well, you survive. Yeah. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew you were a strong person. Mm hmm. All right, so let's try to let's, let's ask Art to see if he has anything to say. Do you have a question about the? about the painting? Uh, we're gonna bring art in. Let's see. Hello, Art, can you hear us? Art? I don't think he's there. Art? No, he's not there. Let's try Arnold. I'm here. Or oh, he's there, he's there. Yeah, I'm here. I'm Hello. trying to figure out Zoom. Oh, you're trying to learn how to how to see. Okay, so we can talk to you. So we'll leave you there in the background, and we'll try Arno next. Who? Arno. Arno. This is our first time, so it's with yeah, a lot of to out a lot of glitches. <laughs> Arno. We'll iron them out soon. We'll be better next week. How are you doing, Uncle Vernon? Hi there. How in the world are you? Oh, same as Margo. I'm isolated. Uh-oh, you got the virus? No, but I would be susceptible to it. Oh, okay. 
Do you have any questions about my art? No, art? I just love it. Wish I could afford it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have prints available. Everybody's oh, on. no, but see, I have the, the uh, a smaller one of that. I didn't understand that. He has a smaller one of it. Well, of course, they work good as small. Well, yeah. But that's a really nice sized painting. I just wish I also had a room for it. <laughs> oh. He's talking about this one. Yeah, yeah. most people don't. That's why it's, well, that's why it's still here. <laughs> huh. It's either the painting or the furniture. <laughs> Uh, everybody, everybody can talk to each other. Arno, Art, Maggie, and Bernie. You got any questions, Art? Well, just about, about you. <laughs> just How's your living conditions? Are they any better? Huh? Your living conditions, is it better? Are your living conditions any better? Oh, gosh, yes. Good. We moved on the 26th of February, just before the virus really got terrible. And we're in a little bigger home, it's more spacious, and everything works in it. There are no rats and... and <laughs> Excellent. We're just, just fine. Good. I got your uh, little printout of the one painting. I just haven't been able to hang it yet. Children in the Park. Oh, yeah. That was Mother's favorite. Uh, yeah, I got to give Michelle a call because it's her birthday today. My birthday is tomorrow. No, Michelle. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm going to have to call her after this is over. Yeah. I guess she's doing okay. She's got Parkinson, you know? She has Parkinson? Yeah, apparently she yeah. came down with uh, Parkinson's. She told me about that. But the last time I talked with her, she said she was feeling better. Well, yeah. But we'll Hopefully see. they won't go in and split her brain. Yeah, I want her to get a second opinion because uh, it was one of my siblings that had essential tremors, but they called it Parkinson's at first. Ah. And our family is, uh, had, everyone in the family has had uh, essential tremors, including me. Right, because I have it too. Yeah, your dad had it real bad. Yeah. Are you able to paint? Huh? Are no, I'm not able to paint. Although I've been trying to sketch a little bit. Sometimes my tremors aren't very bad, so I can do same, something with them. Well, go ahead and paint with it. You'll be in the next Pollock. <laughs> well, after we get settled here, I'm going to uh, try doing some palette knife or something. Uh, sort of to get back into it. I enjoyed the palette knife back in the 60s. But you know, I haven't been painting for a while and I've kind of lost the zeal for it. Ah. So uh, if you don't have an urge, <laughs> it's difficult to do things. But that's okay. Yeah. I'm writing my memoir. I've got about 50,000 words. And I got, I've got about 50,000 more to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may have more than that. You keep having these birthdays. Well, I've got 96 years of stories and I'm gonna tell a few stories when we get going on this program. Uh, a lot of people don't understand the meaning of this painting, but I'm going to get into that in a little bit.
You know, you walk in and see a painting, you don't know what the artist had in mind. But this one was such a vivid, uh, it came to me so vividly that it just haunted me until I painted it. But sometimes you don't follow your instincts. I followed this one and I'm glad I did. So you got a question for me? <laughs> Any question? Anyone. It's kind of hard for him to talk by himself or to profess. It's easier to respond to a question. I already know what I know, so it's difficult for me to know what you want to know. Let's see. Um, how many hands are there? Well, let's see. Let's get started on it. Uh, there are over 200 hands packed into this little room, but there are only four of them who have touched the light, so to speak. He's standing in the light. All of us are in the shadows, everyone. It doesn't matter whether you're rich or poor or well or educated or whatever, uh, because there are a few things that we haven't incorporated into our private lives. And one of them is uh, uh, well, I'm kind of stumbling over my thoughts right now. That's OK. Take it easy. Just uh, Empathy. Uh, we don't really do that every day or all the time, nor do we do charity or compassion. And there's a couple others that people are, seem to misunderstand, so they don't pay much attention to it. And that's non judgment and forgiveness. Hmm. They both kind of go together. Uh, when you judge someone, you can't forgive them. Uh, you've already made up your mind how they are. But the only one that you can forgive is yourself for thinking of it or for judging. It. And it doesn't make any difference whether what the other person does. Leave it to them. You know, just overlook it. That's true forgiveness, just overlooking everything. But that was difficult to put into the painting. You kind of have to explain it. So is is that what the light is, trying to reach that level? The light is, uh, yeah, that level. Your, your total, your total, uh, your total self. Your, I can't think of the words. <laughs> your full potential? Yeah, it's your full potential. And I'm not sure that anyone can do it. Uh, there was one guy who did it, and his name was Jesus. Uh, I guess if we reached our full potential, we would be sort of like him. And there are some people who haven't made it. Like there's one who's gone, and people try to reach it, but they can't. Any more? Yeah. Um, Did I explain it so fully that there are no more questions about it? <laughs> <laughs> if Leonardo DiCaprio asked you if you'd sell it to him, how much would you sell it to him for? <laughs> Do what? How much would you sell it to Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh, it's, it's really not for sale. Oh. <laughs> I want to I donate uh, my collection uh, to a museum unless some rich collector comes along and offers me enough money to change my mind. So how much is enough money? Oh, I don't know. Offer it to me, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll take the highest. The highest bid. Yeah. 
Well, I really want to sell it as a collection, not as an individual painting. There was a, I had two curators from the San Francisco Museum of Art and from the Detroit Museum of Art. And they both calculated my collection, not individually, but as the collection, as between, right. at around $40 million. Woo. Well, uh, almost no artists, no collector has a collection that large. And along with it goes about six or 7,000 sketches of drawings. So that's why I have to live in a larger house. There's no place, <laughs> you know, there's me and there's all this art. <laughs> it took a large truck just to move it. I can imagine. Yeah. I don't know why I collected things. I have the, I think my earliest piece of art is when I was uh, 13, 13 or 14. And I've been saving them ever since. Did you start out just with sketches or? Oh, that was my grandfather's fault. Uh, I blame him for everything. <laughs> He gave me, when I was in the fifth grade, he gave me a, a book on the history of art. Well, I had never considered art as anything. Uh, Wait a minute. <laughs> my early books had art in it, but oh. I never thought of it as art. You hurt art's feelings. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you hurt art's feelings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but in the sixth grade, Oh, there was one section in the book that had sculpture through the ages. And I was totally amazed at how a sculptor could take one or two or three people and make such great expressions. So I started drawing them, copying them. And uh, in my notebook, and I tried it when I wasn't around with the book, I tried doing it from memory. And of course that got me in all kinds of trouble with the school. When the teachers found out I was drawing naked pictures in my notebook, they uh, <laughs> sent me to the principal's office. <laughs> and he gave me a lecture about the immor immorality of it and uh, took the pictures. I often wondered if he kept hey. them or really threw them away. But that's how I started. And I got pretty good doing things from my memory. So one thing led to another. Oh, this painting, by the way, is 10 feet by seven feet. It took quite a while. I spent a lot of time on the floor painting the bottom side and the and the pebbles on the ground. But, uh, I survived. Yeah, I was hadn't noticed some of that before. Now I have to go look at my copy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well oh, yeah. Okay. Any more questions? Oh, you must have some. So, you know that my copy looks backwards from what I'm seeing looking at your picture. Your copy looks backwards? Yes. Really? What side? The arm, of the, what yeah, arm what, is on the other side. What side of the screen is running on right now that you're looking at? Say that again. The screen you're looking at right now, what side is burning on? Uh, the, the arm is on the left. Oh. But when you're looking at the, at the video right now, he's running on the right hand side? No, he's on the left. I well, see him on the left too. That's why, it's because of, it's a backwards uh, shot on the video. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Let me see if I can flip it. Well, I, I'm a little backward anyway, so don't worry about <laughs> it. 
Yeah, on How's that? Now, now it looks cool. like my picture. See what happened what happens on our main screen that we have to watch ourselves, it's it's in reverse on that screen uh -huh. But uh -huh. uh, now it's right on the, the actual iPad. <laughs> So I actually had not noticed before this, the hands that are just touching the light. I mean, I've looked at this painting a lot, but that's the first time oh, you, after you said that. Yeah, the, the hands at the bottom. Now I'm real, bo real bothered. Why? Because I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the right side now. <laughs> well, for them, for the audience, you're on the right side. For yourself, you're on the wrong side. Okay. Well, I've been on the wrong side a few times. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Funny. So, let's see what else have you got right now? More questions? Come on, please. No. <laughs> How can I answer if there are no questions? I haven't heard Arno at all. I see him there, but I don't, I don't hear him. Arno, speak up. <laughs> not in there. He's here, but he's not like on his audio on his video. Sobe, Sobe's here too, but her, her audio and her video is not Who is? Sobe. Oh. Yeah. Maggie do art, Arno and Solve. All right. A whole group. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's a wonderful Chris uh, birthday present. Yeah. 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 You get to see somebody and uh, talk to some of them. Let's see. Here's Maggie. You're the ah. only one that's on video. <laughs> There's okay, Maggie. you can you can turn it off. <laughs> oh, we'll go back. You got a question for me, Maggie? No, I have a lot of questions, but the last one. None, none. I would want to uh, share publicly. Uh, well, so how? So, um, how's Larry? Larry's good. He's here. He's in the other room. Okay. He's looking for a campground for us to go play in. Uh oh. <laughs> well, go play. So, are you. I, I wish I could go play. Are you uh, isolating or social distancing, Vernon? I haven't been out of the house, and if I had, I did once, I stayed in the car. Okay, good. But I have a mask. In fact, I have several of them. <laughs> good. But I haven't worn them. Well, we rarely go out, but we do wear a mask if we go out. Yeah. No, my outdoors is, uh, we have a screen-covered patio. Good. That, that, uh, that uh, Louis has turned into a garden room and so I can go out there and uh, breathe the fresh air. We do go out and walk. Well, no. If the car came along, I probably wouldn't have enough speed to get out of the road. <laughs> but we might try it. I have a walker that, that Louie got me. So I might take it and get out and walk. I get tired easy because of my COPD. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, you have to be careful with those lungs. Oh, I'm careful. I want to live a long time. <laughs> so what are you going so to try to beat mom? Huh? You going to try to beat mom? You brought your mom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told her I was going to. 107. Well, she made it to 107, so if yes, I can she make did. it, if I can make it to 107 and a half, I would have said I would have well, I would have won. I thought it was funny when you were coming back on one of your trips and you were 
I guess at that time you would have been in your late 80s and someone asked you where you were going and you said to take care of your mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she made it until into her 90s. I didn't start going back until she was in her 90s. Uh huh. And uh, it was either we took turns going back to see her and take care of her rather than put her in a nursing home. Yes. But you know, that was a good experience. Uh, I thought it would be burdensome, but it wasn't. It was a good learning experience. I had her early in my life and I had her later in my life. So actually I had her for 88 years. She is quite a character. Yeah. You know, she, she was just total love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, to have a birthday party that brought around 80 people around from all over the country, mm -hmm. and then have another birthday party with all her friends and church members uh, that accounted for another 70 or 80 people. <laughs> well, you, you can't do that unless you love them. I was back there for her hundred. Huh? I was back there for her hundred. Yeah, that was a big party, wasn't it? Yeah. We're at Call Lake. What? Was that at Call Lake? Yes, it was. That was. I didn't meet her until she was 103. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Well, you were friends for a long time, right? <laughs> yeah. Better than three years. Yeah, she was quite a character. She was a great influence in my life. When I was... Uh, Huh? Did you do any portraits? No, I'm, I was never good at portraits. The only good portrait I did was of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I knew me more than I did anyone else. And that was an abstract. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was a pretty good portrait, really. I drew every wrinkle I could find <laughs> because I had heard that artists flattered themselves. So <laughs> I didn't want to flatter. I tried to be honest. I guess they can see that right there. Oh no, that's Facebook. There it is. Ah. That were you were young and Yeah, I did that in 1985, I think. Yeah, I was just a youngster then. Oh, that's one brochure. Do you have a brochure? Did I send you one? No, I, I didn't get a brochure. Art? No, I didn't get one. Well, I'll send you one. Okay. I've got a DVD that's got uh, 47 of my paintings with me explaining how what they were. They were short explanations, but I'll send that I to you too. No, he has DVDs. Huh? He has DVDs. Oh, oh sure. Okay, well, I'll send you the brochures. They're a short summary of my art life. I had a... So do you, do you have your paintings um, all on display or are they just stored? Well, we have 86 on the walls here at the house. Oh my. We'll give you a, a real quick run. But well, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not seeing any uh, video right now. Well, I don't... Uh, 
I don't like galleries. Uh, I've had several shows and they were such disasters that uh, the last show I had was a success. And I sold one original for $6,000, a small one. And, uh, but we sold over $30,000 worth of uh, prints on canvas. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's time for realism to come back in as the best art possible. Abstractions rather kill the fine art. I don't think many people know what fine art is. So uh, once you kill art, then where do you go? You know, start at the beginning again. <laughs> I had uh, the the uh, guy at the Detroit Museum said that I was the first artist that he'd seen that had brought the Renaissance into the 21st century. That's funny. So I asked him why, and he said, because you're an excellent draftsman, you aren't afraid of color, and you tell stories. Hmm. And he said, none of the other movements did that. They, they just kind of shied away from it. it was, I don't know whether it's because they didn't have the talent or, or what. The Renaissance was art perfection, really. Yeah, our house is a gallery. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I even have two paintings in my bathroom. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the room that always gets ignored, so <laughs> we spruced it up a little. I even have paintings behind the doors. So you have to close the door in order to see it. Two minutes. Huh? Two minutes. Before that video goes out. Oh. Got a 40 minute cut off. Well, we've got two more minutes. What shall I say? It's wonderful seeing you guys. Well, happy birthday tomorrow. Well, thank you so much. It will be. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah. We didn't hear Arnold. He went away. He never talked. Oh. He didn't know he was <laughs> Okay. Over time, more people will come in. Well, I'll be back uh, a week from today. Same okay. Same time, Same. different things. Yeah. Okay. Saturday at one. Good. And I'll have another painting to talk about. All right. We'll see you then. Hopefully, more guest members and more audience. <laughs> more questions. More questions. Of course, you can always get me on Facebook, I guess. Yeah. So, send us some doozies. Somebody just came <laughs> in, let's see who that is. Let's yeah, see. I, I was, uh, this was unexpected. Well, hello. Where's that friend? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Do you know him? Let me unmute him, hold on. I don't see too well. <laughs> hello. 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 Yeah. Oh, I tried to get on with my uh, computer. It's Arno. It's Arno. Hi, Arno. Hello, can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Okay. That's wonderful. I tried to get on with my computer, but the microphone. Oh, the I see. Video weren't, weren't working. Oh, <laughs> well. I'm not getting, I don't see you guys yet. I'm not sure what's going oh. on. Well. There you go. I, uh, I don't see you our, guys. This is our first show. You know, we're going to have to work out the glitches. Can you see us yet? Can you I see know. me? No, I'm on my iPhone. Oh, uh, I, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, at any rate, well, we can see you, it's though. wonderful seeing you. We saw you, though. Thank you some questions for next week. Yeah, I don't know how to work this Zoom. We can see you though. 
I okay, well that's it. that's half the. Well, you can hear me too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's. I can't see you. That's the only problem. Well, so it's hard to talk about your work if I can't see it, right? Just use your imagination. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> use my memory. I was there when you painted it. Well, I'm going to be on here for a long time, every week. Okay, good. So, uh, I've got a hundred paintings to talk about. Wonderful. So that means a hundred weeks. And you can probably come back to a few. Oh, yeah. And you can see, see what I've done today on Facebook. Yeah. And. But take care of yourself. Thank you. Are you ending the meeting? Yeah, we're, we're about at the end of it. We don't have that many people, so you can still keep going if you want. Oh. Go ahead. Uh, he, he can't see you, so I'll, I'll let you see him instead. So I see myself, but I don't see anybody else. Now we don't see you either. Oh, you don't? No. no. We're seeing you, though. Now we don't. Are you hiding behind the TV? There you go. There, there you go. are. <laughs> I'm going to get up closer so I can see you better. I'm away from the camera, so. I sure wish I could make this work. Oh. Yeah. Next week, get on and show me some of your art. Next week, what? Show me some of your artwork. Well, this is about your artwork, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Good seeing you, dude. Thank you. Well, I'm going to take off there, Uncle Vernon. Ah. Have a good birthday. Okay. Thank you for being on. Thank you. No problem. Love you. Love you. You see Arnold. You're a little older than when I first met you. That was a few years ago, I agree. <laughs> I was, I think, 17, wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah. The streets of Las Vegas. But you still sound the same. Yeah. Have you read all those books behind you? Most of them, I bought them very carefully. They are 99.9% .9 art books. Uh-huh. I have a lot of books that I page through, but I haven't read them. <laughs> well, you once told me that uh, in, in uh, the absence of a teacher, a book is, is uh, a good substitute. So I've taken that to heart. Yeah. Thank you for your birthday card. Huh? Thank you for your card. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Do you live alone? I do. I like it. Yeah, I did too. But I like it with someone here too. <laughs> uh, I think I'm a hermit at heart. Huh? He's a hermit. I'm a hermit at heart. Well, I have been the last 20 some years. Yeah. Could have fooled me. You sure had a lot of roommates. Oh, gosh, yeah. I've had a full lot. Yeah. And I still got 10 or 15 more years to do some more. Yeah, I figure about me, too. <laughs> <laughs> so are we off the uh, Zoom? No, we're still there. We're still I mean, the meeting. Are, am I talking to everybody? Yeah. Uh, somebody oh. else just came in. Let's see who came in. Mark. Mark. I'm not sure what, what Mark that would be, but we'll find out. 
let's see, let's unmute Mark. Hello, Mark. Hello, Vernon. Hi, there's Mark. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. It took me a long time to get here. Uh, I had to become your friend first. Oh. So now we're more than friends. We're electronic friends. Right. <laughs> Let me get back to my chair. Yeah, go to your chair. You can see him better. And he can see you better. Oh, uh, Louis? Yeah. I can see uh, there you go. Mark. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. is there something you can do on your end that you know, would let me see everybody or the paintings? Oh, yeah, everybody's paintings left. Right you just came in. Yeah. Okay, what about the painting? There it is. Can you see the painting? It's all about the painting here. Do you see the painting? Yeah. Hold on. This is our first show, so. We're guinea pigs. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I don't see the painting. Yes. Well, you know, while we're waiting, uh, uh, Vernon, I want to ask you a question. Sure. You know, uh, yesterday was the 75th anniversary. Oh, thank you. I, I see it now. The end of World War II. Right. And I noticed that you uh, 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 you are a World War II vet. Right. Do you have anything uh, to say about that? Any thoughts? I'm glad it's over. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think much. I don't think of it until someone brings it up. I uh, I don't remember a lot of details about it. I was on the ship, so it was the daily duties that were kind of boring mostly. There were a few times when we were off the ship that were nice, but, uh, and a few little things when I was aboard. But that's all. Tell them about the story whenever. Uh... You fell asleep. If you want to tell him that story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of what time that I went to sleep. He's he's censoring. <laughs> under, under the uh, the cannons. Oh, when I first went aboard the ship, I uh, had a top bunk underneath a three inch gun, <laughs> and they called general quarters. And I was sound asleep, I didn't hear it. And they fired a dozen shots out of that three inch gun. Oh, and I still didn't hear it. And they finally came and got me and, and uh, woke me up. The captain was going to court martial me for not showing up, but then they decided not to. And uh, I had to sit in front of a speaker and they sounded general alarm, and it was a terrible noise. Uh, I sat there, I think, for a half an hour listening to this thing blare into my ears. And from that point on, I was the first one <laughs> to my post of DQ. Sometimes I beat the alarm. <laughs> I was a sound sleeper until then. Yeah. The only other momentous thing was uh, We were in the battle for Saipan and Tinian Islands. And uh, then again, we went to Okinawa and, and that's when the war ended. And the Admiral sent our ship to Japan. We went through the, uh, into the Nagasaki uh, Harbor to see if we could draw enemy fire. I guess we were expendable. <laughs> At any rate. <laughs> what was that after the bomb had been dropped? Uh, yeah, uh, I think it was right about a month, less than, I think a little bit less than a month. After it, it had been dropped. And since we didn't draw enemy fire, he wanted anyone who had sidearms to go aboard, go ashore. Did that include yourself? So that, yeah, I was a postman, so I got to carry a gun. So we go and then we had to walk across the rubble of the Avon uh, to a little village that was in between two hills and they were spared. So when we got there, the children came running out of their houses 
followed by their mothers and then the old men. And we were treated like heroes instead of uh, someone attacking them. They knew then that the war was over. Yeah. Um, did that um, inform any of your painting, that experience? Do what? Did that experience inform any of your painting? No, not really. Uh, most of my paintings are positive. Uh, I'm a very positive person, and my paintings mostly reflect my uh, philosophy. I paint mostly feelings that I had about things around the world, uh -huh. more than depicting them. Hold on, Arvo, you were on mute for a second here. Um, give me a second. Um, Do what? Uh, uh, he was on mute. Uh, Arnold was on mute. So, Are we still broadcasting? Okay, there we go. You're back off mute. Yeah, we're still broadcasting. Melissa came in too. Oh. Hi, Melissa. Let me see what she's in. Uh, We've had several people appear. Can That's you all. hear me? Uh, Louis, can you hear me? Yeah. What are you Louis? doing, Mark? Yeah. Louis? Yeah. I, I don't you. know who you're saying yeah to. This is Arnold. Yeah, yeah I can hear you. Go ahead. Uh, I've got the painting here, so that's good. It worked. Um, now, do you, are you using your chat function? Uh, no, we're not. Uh, we're not monitoring chat right now. Okay, but if you have it just for yourself, alerting just yourself, yeah, uh, we can chat with you individually. Yeah, and yeah. ask. To, so uh, I, I already sent a chat, but I didn't get a response. Uh, first it was to Vernon and then it was to everybody with no response. So I didn't know if you're using that function, but it's very helpful for us who have technical problems that we can chat. Oh, okay, so I'll try to see if I can bring that up somewhere. Yeah, that's just an idea. No, it's, it's a good idea. I just, and Vernon, the first time we used it actually, so that's fine. Uh -huh. Vernon, I wanted to ask you a question about the painting. Sure. Uh, you said that you, uh, you know, you paint your feelings. Yes. Can you tell us about the feeling that uh, generally encompasses the current painting that you're showing us that you painted? That one was came to me as, as a vision and uh, scared the heck out of me, but I felt good about it. And I was so scared, I didn't think I was talented enough to paint it and I, it was about 10 or 12 years before I got the nerve up to do it so uh, now you're talking about the current painting yeah, here the, uh, uh, what was the feeling do you remember what that feeling was other than fright well the feelings came after the vision <laughs> instead of before okay so it developed yeah but most what, of the paintings are Memories of uh, my uh, my life. I've uh, I spent about forty some years uh, in the wilderness, as often as I could get there. And, uh, in the wilderness. So I, was, I they brought about a lot of feelings that I had painted. Could you talk about the painting? What what is it depicting? What is the uh, arm on the far right, uh, the highlighted arm and hand reaching out well, to this group? Basically, it's, we are all in the shadows. We, there are a few things that, it doesn't matter whether you're famous or not, rich or not, or anything, because we, there are a few things that we lack in our daily lives. And that's uh, empathy and uh, charity, compassion, non-judgment and forgiveness if we could develop all of those then we become this light arm out in the sunshine and then we become what if we can do include those in our lives then we can step out of the shadows into the sun this oh, okay. depicts our yes. total uh, potential yeah there's only one person who's done that, and that was Jesus. 
what about the hands that are in partial sunlight but recede into the shade? The which one? The hands that are partially there. extended into the sunshine. Well, I see four, three, possibly four. The this hand, is our full potential, the light in hand. Yeah, the other hands that are reaching into the And light. that one up there is, is, is trying to reach. But all of us are in the shadows because we're always held back, even though we know where we could go. We're always held back by uh, family, friends, religion, work, society. And they keep pulling us back into the shadows. Okay. We know who we should be, but we're a little scared <laughs> to get there. Yeah. For one reason or another. We seem to take comfort in crowds too, don't we? Yeah. Well, like most paintings, they're difficult to decipher because you have no idea what the artist had in mind when he did it. Yeah, no. This is a great one for projecting. Yeah. What one's own. And Mental? Uh, this is my masterpiece. What? Okay. It's the most popular painting that I have. Yeah. But it's a, it's a hassle to move it from one place to another. I know, I can imagine. <laughs> it's hard to find a wall that can take it. Well, it needs to find a beautiful home, you know, it's a home somewhere. Yeah. Well, I've done about 500 paintings in my life. Mm -hmm. Probably over that. But I've sold all but 100. And I'm sort of keeping them as a collection. Mm -hmm. At some point, I would like to donate them to a museum so the world can see what I do. Have you cataloged all the ones that you've sold? Uh, not all of them, no. Okay, so there's, some of them are lost uh, to you. Yeah, I never thought about it until, oh, I guess uh, several years ago. I have had, I, I saved about a a hundred, I guess I've got. Okay. Either transparencies or slides up. Yeah. But I never thought about it before. Have you ever tried to contact the people you sold paintings for to get to get a document? Well, most of, them, most of them have died now. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Uh, art was a hobby for me until yeah. I was 50. And so uh, most of those paintings that I've sold were during that time. I sold my first painting two years after I got out of college. Uh, a couple who were visiting a friend of mine saw, saw it on my wall and uh, offered me $350 for it. Well, that was three times what I was paying for rent, so I sold it to them. <laughs> very, very nice. It's a great feeling when you do it, sell it for your first painting, isn't it? Yeah, but it didn't dawn on me that I could do it professionally. And I certainly didn't want to become a full-time artist because uh, I had no inclination to starve. So yeah. I went into commercial art. Yeah. And, uh, I made a, a good living doing commercial art. And they gave me the money to paint. Yeah. So I didn't starve after all. But you made a decision at some point to go from commercial art to fine art? Yeah. Well, I didn't, I've done fine art all my life. But... Oh, but I meant to drop the commercial art. Yeah. I've never stopped doing uh, realism or surrealism, I should say, but in a realistic way. Well, you once told me that you're, uh, I asked you what genre this was, and uh, you said, I think magic realism, is that what you told me? Well, it's a uh, figurative realism, I imagine. Well, I think I'm born with that surrealistic mind. 
Because everything I've done has been turned out to surreal. So how would you, oh. how would you classify this? This one is a surreal. It's uh, done realistically. Surreal means that it's real, but it's not. <laughs> it looks real, but it isn't. I was impressed with Michelangelo and Salvador Dali, mainly because of, they did their art the way they thought. And when you come down to it, uh, all art is mostly surreal. Michelangelo's uh, Sistine Chapel and a lot of the sculptures are surreal. They didn't exist really, the way he painted them or sculpted them. So if you don't copy nature, it has to be surreal. So it's coming right out of your head. Huh? It's coming right out of your head. Yes. That's, what, need to... that's what Michelangelo did with the Sistine Chapel. He ignored tradition. And that's why it's the world's most famous paintings. Millions of people every year go to see his artwork and his sculpture. I particularly like uh, a sculpture that he did called The Slave, because it's a human form coming out of solid rock, but it's not a finished statue which captured slavery just perfectly. Would you compare uh, Michelangelo and Picasso? No, Picasso was, Picasso was a blip. <laughs> a what? A blip. He didn't really know how to draw. He was a, he took, he was an exhibitionist and he, Shock, shock value, I guess. Yeah, he committed, he painted million, uh, thousands of paintings, or hundreds of them. All, the, all variations are the same. Yeah. He knew he could sell them, so that's what he did. I've never done, painted my paintings for, for money, except for commissions, which I've done quite a few. Uh, all my paintings were done for me, basically. Yeah. Let's say hi to Melissa. Hmm? Hi, Melissa. Melissa. So what's your life like, Mar? <laughs> hi, Melissa. Hello, Vern. How are you? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Excellent. We're trying an experiment. Yeah. You're doing a great job. No, Louie's doing a great job. Okay, you both are. Yeah. Any questions? You got a question? Not at this point, no. Okay, we'll go back to, to our, um, to our. Okay. <laughs> Good seeing you. You too. There. Arnold's back. Hi, Arno. And Mark. And Mark. Uh, can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay. I can hear you. All right. Now, Louis, I don't see Vernon at this point. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm talking to you. Yeah, let me see. Give me a second. Let's see. There he is. You see him now? Uh, no. It's this one, isn't it? No, he's watching this. He's, he should be watching this one. What do you see? Myself. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't need to see that. <laughs> I see that every day. I, I don't know how to fix that for you, but let me see. Okay, hold on. Give me, give me some guy. There. Is that better? Can you see him now? He's right there in the corner. No. Hi. No, I don't. But uh, you did have it fixed. But, uh, one but I, I think Arnold, you can do it by clicking on the uh, val uh, the um, gallery view. Yeah. Click the gallery. All right. I didn't click on the gallery view, but it did come up, so I see it now. I see him now. Okay. Something happened. So whatever you just did worked. 
Yeah. Maybe you click the gallery view. Uh, I don't know, but I know you're working, so you're good. There. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying this or what? Yeah, I am. Well, yeah, this is nice. I like this. This is the first of a lot of them. We're going to do this every week. But Different paintings. This is the first trial and error. Yeah, we'll figure it out over time. This is the first time um, I use Zoom, so I'm trying to figure it out. So are you going to have a different picture each time? Yeah. Yeah, every week. Every week a different one. This is your biggest one, though. Yeah, yeah I thought I'd start yes. off with this one. <laughs> start off with your masterpiece. Yeah. How old is it? Oh, gosh, when did I do this? It's right there in that corner. I can't read it. Oh, 1975, I believe. I'd say that again. No. 1989? Yeah, I think I finished it in that. 1990. I fi finished it Christmas morning, 1990. But I thought got the idea it's about 30 years, years old. Yeah, it's 30 years old. It's old. It's almost older than me. Well, <laughs> Are we still broadcasting? Yeah, we're still live. My goodness. Yeah, people are still watching you. Oh, you got an audience, so that's good. Got a what? An audience. Yeah. <laughs> You're surprised. Yeah, that's more than we figured. No, it's good. We'll get more <laughs> over time. But I think we're Did about you? to be done now. I think he's kind of tired now, are you? A little. Yeah, he's getting worse. Question. I have one more question. Yeah. Question. Is this an oil or an acrylic? It's an oil. Oil. Wow. Yeah. Most of my paintings are in oil. Mm -hmm. I like it because it's more fluid and it doesn't dry so quick. Yeah, I can imagine the drying time uh, on this one. This must have been something. Well, it took me three years to do this. Okay. But one reason is because it got boring. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the 200 pants, that means there's a thousand yeah. fingers. Yeah. You break that fingers down, uh, you know, there's two knuckles to each one. <laughs> and they're all going at different axes. So I painted several pictures in between, but all in all, it took about 3,000 hours to do this. Yeah. I thought it would be harder than it was. But I lost a lot of my fear in this one. Fear? Uh, yeah, I was so afraid to do it. And then when I did it, oh. it wasn't hard at all. It was just time consuming. So, uh, so would you uh, say this was, would you say this was a turning point? In your later paintings, I mean, were you were the later? Did the later paintings come easier or faster? Or? Oh, they, they, I think they came easier. I never thought about that, but I think they did. Yeah. Because a lot great. of times you're afraid of what you're doing. You know, anything yeah. new is a little fearful. Well, I would also think you would work out deeper fears. You know, that go beyond the painting. It's through the painting, you know. Well, a white canvas is, is rather beautiful in its own right. <laughs> and it's true. About, it's but left, left, left white, left white, it doesn't say a lot. Yeah. Oh. That first one, splash of paint is uh, almost like you could cut it with a knife. Yeah. But then as you go along, it takes on a life of its own. It doesn't, it? yeah. And in fact, as you complete it, it begins to talk to you, yes? Well, I've done three paintings that took me almost 3,000 hours. Wow. And they were all very satisfying. They were just tedious. We'll get around to one I call memories. It took about 3,000 hours. Yes, I remember that one. But once I start, 
time doesn't mean anything. It's getting started. It kind of takes over, doesn't it? Time. Huh? It kind of takes over. Yes, it does. The, the uh, painting takes over. It has a life of its own almost. Yeah. It pulls you in and says, finish me. Yeah. It's been wonderful to talk to you. Oh, you too. Me too. I'm so glad you called. Yeah, thank you for all the questions too. They're really in depth. They really help. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, it'll show, you know, I think it does show what this format and what this form can be. Yeah, you know, was, for, for, for the others, for everybody. Yeah, yeah exactly. You, you, you're kind of uh, helping uh, people understand what to ask and how to ask it and why ask it and all that good stuff. And how that, to answer. Yeah. <laughs> and Bernie, that's a very, it that's a very, very good point, Roy. Yeah, and well, we try to analyze everything we're doing because that's that's the only way we're going to get any better at it. So. Yeah. But I think where you do have a reticent audience, if it's a very small one in the beginning, yeah. you're asking questions kind of prompts them and helps them to see the kind of questions they're, they're, they can ask. Exactly. I kind of have to feed, feed, the, feed the audience, otherwise they won't know how to, I don't know. Well, not, not, this, not all of us. No, some you're, of you're pretty good. Okay. Well, some of us talk well, too much. Now, also, <laughs> questions make me think. Yeah, it opens up the mind. You know, I got to think of an answer. So you mark your ideas, and, and sometimes I, it, I have forgotten the answer, or I didn't know it until you asked the question. Yeah. How about Melissa? Any questions? No. No, no questions. All right. I think we're getting to the end of our session here. Okay. So long, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for stopping. Uh, in. So long, Vernon. It was great talking what? to you and watching you. Thanks. Yeah. By the way, if you want copies of my art, check my website, vernonthinneyart.com. Will do. It's All quite right. exciting. Thank you, Vernon. Louis has, Louis has created four virtual 3D galleries. And we also have a website. Yes. I mean, a Facebook page. A Facebook page. Very good. And we have a web store. Yeah, very good. All right. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. And uh, right, thank next week at the same time for different paintings. Great. Thank All right. You. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Stay safe. Stay you too. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Wear that mask. Yeah, always. Bye. Bye-bye. And, and we are set.